Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here and in today's video I have for you the Zoya version of this series that I'm doing of polishes that are, you know, easy for beginners. They have good formulas, things that are easy to work with. As you guys know, a good formula is important in your experience when you're doing your manicure. Sometimes you pick up a polish that's like just really bad and then you feel like it's you, especially if you're starting, you don't know the difference and it might feel like this sucks, but it's really not your fault. So anyways, I'm putting together a list per brand if this is the first time you come across this video of polishes that are easy to work with. And I'm looking down because I have them here on my lap. Hopefully I don't, I'm not doing this the whole video, but anyways, just if you see me looking down, that's why. First up we have Sailor. And as you can see, you're probably gonna notice that the theme in this video is a little bit folly because we're already like going, you know, it's September. I ended up just being super biased by the season and picking colors that are mostly fall colors. So I could do one of these for like, every season if you want but anyway sailor it is a dusty navy blue it's beautiful but it is a two coater the coats are going to be so easy and very short nail lengths or depending on how thick you do your coats um, you might be able to get it perfect at one but i don't consider this just a one coater i think it's a two coater but they're easy coats it's very easy to work with this is a fantastic polish it is gorgeous for fall but I think it's also gorgeous for any time of the year, to be honest, it's a classic, it's so beautiful. Up next, we have Vesper, and this is Sailor's Purple Cousin. I'm gonna share them here side by side so you guys can see. This is gorgeous. It is also dusty, it is also folly, and it is very purple when you see it, there's no confusion, but it does feel like Sailor's Purple Cousin, or purple sibling, if you will. It is also a two-coater for the same reasons as Sailor, but it's easy coats, so beautiful. I think probably good for like a classic any time of the year manicure, but it does lean folly. I mean, it's a dusty, dark color, so there's that. <laughs> Next up, we have Constance. Constance, Constance, I don't know. I think it's Constance, whatever. This one is like a, like a mauve also cousin of the previous two. Let me, let me show them to you one next to each other. See? And I'm sorry that they're similar, but Zoya does a lot of this stuff. Like if you look at their collections, they fluctuate a lot between these colors. Tones that are a little bit dustier, a little bit bright, brighter or whatever, but they do a lot of like the blue, the purple and the mauve. So anyways, this one is that, um, that cousin, but it's so beautiful. And I wanted to share it um, compared to two Essies. Because I know you guys are gonna ask me because I thought about it as well and you can see it next to Angora Cardi and Smoking Hot it's kind of like an in-between and the formula on this is beautiful and actually for this three I feel like as the polish gets used a little bit more and gets a little bit thicker in the bottle it will become closer to a one coater all right up next we have Zoya Mila and this one is the one that I'm wearing here as you can see it does dry a little bit darker than you can see in the bottle this is the case for most fall polishes that have a dusty undertone like a gray undertone they are always gonna be a little bit darker than what you see in the bottle and I don't mean always like a hundred percent but always like close to a hundred percent and then the one that I have here on my right hand is a dupe, it's a gel. It just happens to match really, really well, but it's not the same. This is a gel that's been discontinued, so don't worry about it. But here you have Mila, and this one is one of those that I chose it because I wanted to give you guys this color. And I think like it goes really well with the theme of the colors that I chose in this video, but it's not a one coater. It will never be a one coater. It is perfect at two. They're easy to work with, but you cannot wear this at one. Unlike the previous three that I just showed you where you could wear it at one coat if the nail length and the thickness of the polish is, is good enough. I don't think this is ever gonna be wearable at one coat, but it is perfect at two and both coats are gonna be easier to work with, but it does take that second coat buildup. So keep that in mind. But you guys, look at that color. It's just gorgeous. All right, up next we have Zoya Greta. And this one is not a fall color. It's a very bright, gorgeous red. And it does show nail line. It's one of those that I think to get rid of the nail line, at least my nail line is very strong. It would take three coats, but I don't even recommend it. Like if you want a polish that doesn't have any nail line at all, maybe this one's not the one. But if you want that squishy um, look, this one's perfect and it, it is perfectly non-streaky at one coat. However, the nail line to me is a little strong. So when I do two coats, it becomes perfect for my taste. But yeah, keep that in mind that it is a squishy red. It's not one of those like super cream white base reds. It does have 
a squishy aspect to it. All right, up next, I don't know, it's giving Christmas, but up next we have a green. I also chose a green in every video because green is my favorite color and I, I know it's not everybody's favorite color, but this is Wyatt. And this is a, I think it behaves the same as the first three that I showed you where it could be a one quarter, but it's for sure gonna be perfect at two. It could be a one quarter depending on nail length and thickness of the polish as the time go goes by, but it is gonna be perfect at two. It is just freaking gorgeous. It also probably is gonna dry a little tiny bit darker than what's here, but that's fine. All right, so for these last three, I think these are for sure gonna be one coaters for most people, unless if your nails are like extremely long and you did like very, very, very thin coats. And even then I feel like they're so pigmented and like the thickness is, is solid enough to be a one quarter for, for most people. But anyways, the first one is Cory and this one's like a brick orange. You know how you can have like brick red or bricks that lean orange? It's like a brick orange and I feel like it's burnt enough but not too burned that it leans too brown. Like you can still tell that it's an orange. I think it's fabulous. It's dusty, it's folly, it's a one coater. I might know length, I don't foresee, like I said, most people needing two, but if you do two, they're gonna be easy as well. It's not like thick or anything. It's just, the coverage is just amazing. Very easy to work with. All right, up next we have Ellis, and this one is a pink, and I feel like it's almost summer to fall transition, but maybe not because I think like it's, it's dusty enough like it's muted enough to be okay for like that pop of color in fall. And this one is a fantastic formula. I don't foresee anybody needing two coats for this one. It is like really, really nice. Up next we have Brianna and this color is so surprising. Okay, I remember this from when I reviewed. When you look at something like this, it's so light, it feels like scary. You're like, this is gonna be streaky, this is gonna be this or that. This thing, I don't know how they formulated this polish, but this is perfect at one coat in this color range. That's not usual. I don't think anybody is gonna need to. Like I even tried this on my ridges nail, which is the ring finger on my left hand, and it was perfect. I had to give you guys something light, but it does have that dustiness to it. There's gray in here in this pink. One thing you guys have to keep in mind is that all of these polishes, I have them with a white brush. Applying polish for me with a white brush is much easier than one with a thin brush. Now, I think even if all of these had the thin brush, they're still gonna be good, but you have to keep in mind that there could be differences in how things feel when you're applying them with a wide paddle brush versus with a, very, with a very thin brush, especially if your nails are wide and long. If your nails, your nail bed, the shape of your nail bed is uh, narrow, you might benefit better using a thin brush or even if they're shorter. But for most people, a white brush is gonna make the experience of the nail polish application easier. So keep that in mind that I do have white brushes on these. These were my Zoya picks. And again, of course, you guys have told you before in this series, there's no way to like truly summarize an entire brand in nine polishes. So I selected things that I was in the mood for that I remember that had good formulas and then I tested them to make sure that I was remembering correctly. There's a million polishes that Zoya has that are fantastic. I'm probably gonna do a poll asking for what brands to do next, so look out for that. And thank you for clicking on my video, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!